Hey McBride. News. I got two jobs. Overachiever. <laughs> I am working box office and bar at the Southwark Playhouse. I had my first shift last week. It's very cool. Some very nice people. I'm learning to make barista coffee, which is a skill I am shocked I haven't picked up in my years as an actor. Starting next week, I'm going to be stage managing a physical theatre production of Macbeth, which I am both confused and intrigued by. So most of the things I care about this week are movie related. Yay! Okay. Incoming rant. I'm sorry, but I swear to Odin, if one more person tells me I'm stupid for falling for Zach Braff's Kickstarter, I'm gonna hulk out and just tear the internet apart with my mighty green rage. I've been having the same fight over and over on all social media platforms and I'm so tired of it. So here is the last time I'm gonna defend why I contributed to Zach Braff's Kickstarter. I love Zach Braff. I've always loved Zach Braff. I'm a big Scrubs fan. I loved Garden State. I love it when he nerds out on Twitter. I really love his beautiful bromance with Donald Faison and I'm really excited that he's making another movie. I love Kickstarter. I think crowdsource funding is an excellent way to not only get something made, but make sure that the people who are investing actually care about what you're making. They care about the end result. And that is so important. Zach Braff loves his fans and wants them to get involved, so rather than going to investors who want final control of the film, he's getting the backing from people who already love him and trust him, which I think is awesome. Something important to know about the film as a whole, it's not just being funded from the Kickstarter, that's like a third, not even a third, of the film's total budget. Zach's putting a heap of his own money in. Plus, people don't seem to understand how expensive it is to actually get a film made, especially one that involves a fantasy sequence with like a spaceman or a robot or something, filming at Comic-Con, which is crazy expensive, filming in LA, and getting people like Kate Hudson to star in it with him. She don't come cheap. Okay. People who keep telling me that Zach Braff is just taking my money and it's gonna go straight into his pocket and I'm an idiot for... <sighs> you don't understand how Kickstarter works. I'm not donating my money. I'm not just sending him a 20 and wishing him luck and hoping that he doesn't put it towards buying a new car. I'm purchasing a product. When you invest in something on Kickstarter, you get something back. There are perks available for every budget at every level and they're all kind of awesome. And if you still think I'm an idiot, well, I get to go to a special screening of the film with Zach Braff before it's released to the public, so you can suck it. Okay, ran over. Sorry, that's just been bugging me for like a month. Anywho, so Gatsby. I saw The Great Gatsby opening night here in London and I know opinion's been pretty divided. A lot of people haven't liked it. I did. I really did. I don't have this like deep relationship with the book that a lot of people seem to have. I love the book. I do love the book. But I've only known it for like the last six months and I've been a fan of Baz Luhrmann for years and years. I mean the thing about his movies, they are a lot to take. They are super stylized and kind of surreal and over the top and in your face and I think it really worked with Gatsby. It's of course visually stunning and the soundtrack had the whole vintage and modern mix that somehow completely worked. The script was almost word for word from the book which was a little jarring at first with the narration but once I got used to it I was totally fine with it. The film actually reminded me a lot of Moulin Rouge, the way it was styled and the use of music and narration. It, yeah. It reminded me a lot of Moulin Rouge, I was quite surprised by that. My only problems were little problems. I love Carrie Mulligan, I think she's wonderful in everything she does, but I really dislike Daisy Buchanan as a character. <laughs> so it was kind of hard for me to reconcile my love for Carrie Mulligan and my hatred for Daisy. <laughs> I was just like, I want, I want to like you, I really do, because you're Carrie, but you're Daisy. But from her very first line I was like oh my god she's nailed it. Like the the husky whisper and just the look and oh yeah she was she was pretty fantastic. 
I think I'd need to see it again to have a definitive opinion on Tobey Maguire. Basically. Maybe he was doing a really good job at a character I don't really care for. Maybe he was just a little bit bland. I'm not entirely sure. Leonardo DiCaprio nailed it. Like he was, he was spot on. I was watching an interview with Baz Luhrmann and he was talking about how everyone has been pretty divided over the film but no one is questioning Leo, which is absolutely right. He was really wonderful. Okay, so I'm gonna go. I have some work I have to do before our first production meeting on Monday for Macbeth. Uh, so I will see you next Thursday. Toodle pips!